Yeah, so LeBron was talking about, uh, you know, you got to have uh, a coach that really pushes you and they're too soft on these kids and blah, blah, blah. In my experience, the best coaches are the ones that don't really want to be there, but then learn more from the kids than the kids learn from them. Mighty Ducks, Bad News Bears, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, I see. Mm -hmm. They learn a lesson about themselves. Right. About life. Yeah, not just about sports, but yeah. life, right? <laughs> I had some coaches when I was younger that I feel like were really tough on me. And at the time, I really didn't appreciate it because you're a teen and you're angsty and you don't want anyone telling you what to do, especially someone that's not your parents. But looking back, I think those people were probably the ones that got the best results out of not only me personally, but the whole team. My sports career was so spotty that I didn't actually have like a good coach until college. Because when I was playing t-ball and sucked, your coaches <laughs> are just dads. You yeah, know? yeah. And then when I was wrestling in high school, the coach was like the history teacher. I give you a couple of moves, but you pretty much had to learn on your own. You yeah, he's learn. just there for the stipend. Or whatever. <laughs> I mean, he, he drew the short straw. <laughs> hey, Marinelli, you want to coach uh, wrestling? Yeah, all right. <laughs> I got seventh period free, whatever. And they just stand there in long sleeve uh, sweatpants and shirt yelling at you. <laughs> In school colors. <laughs> My sports career. Cox, get Ugh. off your back. That kind of stuff. You had a sports career. I had a sports career, believe it or not. What, what, what did you play? I did. I was a track guy. I ran track. Yeah, he's talked about track before. Yeah. And you my, didn't do track and field. You just did track. Did I did you? track. I did the 400, the 800. Uh, they tried to get me to do the 1600 and the mile, and I told them no. Because they, I don't know, they, they believed in me more than I believed in myself, and I let them down every single time. You weren't a long so distance runner. You were a speed runner. Running away from his haters. I, yeah, I, I wanted to do, I wanted to, because I can go really fast for a short period period of time, and they thought, they were like, no, you need longevity. You need to learn how to, you know, develop stamina. I'm like, nope, just let me do relay. Never let me do the relay. I think. You're a sprinter. Yeah, and I, I think that I would be best suited in relay, but I don't think they trusted me to carry the baton. I thought they thought that I was going to, like, drop it or like something. I you would have been real good with a baton. And See? also, like, taking a stick from another dude. Come on. Hey, well, They missed so many opportunities to. They missed out. You totally mold calling. you. Yeah. They missed out. I was a fast runner. and I would like to see how you run based on how I see how you walk. I don't know what the running Actually, would look like. Actually, it had the opposite effect. It, I ran really fast. And the, at first, when I started, when I, once I learned the proper way to run, because before I would run flat-footed, now that I know how to run like on the top of my foot, then I'm like, okay, I'm The good. top of your foot or the balls of the ball, your foot? The, ball, the balls of my feet. <laughs> if you run he's on, he's, he's foot, on yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a ballet dancer Tippy doing track. Yeah. Yeah. Right. His first position is unparalleled. <laughs> and no one heard him go by either. <laughs> right. he, no, they can hear him because they go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. He plied right yeah. past me. Yeah. Crazy. Short-lived. Very short-lived. Like a cartoon character trying to sneak through a room. <laughs> Because you walk with your feet turned out. I know. So do you run with your feet turned out? I, I did. But when I was doing track, I, I learned the proper way to do it. And I, I did it just to appease them, just because. Forget the feet. I picture you windmilling your arms as you were <laughs> running around the track. And I know that can't possibly be the case, but that's no. how I envision it. Also, remember, this is the time when I was in high school when I thought I had something to prove. I thought I had to be macho and play sports, and I was trying to be Yeah, but every guy, DL. Every guy does that. I know, but I was trying to be DL because I had something to hide. So I was trying to be as masculine and so as possible. So why track? That's not exactly the most masculine Because I was too could... afraid to get hit. I was too embarrassed to be oh. in front of like people. Uh, with and it's just a solo ba sport. Basketball, exactly. Yeah. Basketball, I was like, oh, I got to play on a team. That means I'm probably going to get haze and everyone's going to be mad at me. Like there's, yeah. See, that's why I liked wrestling because it's a team sport, but you win or lose on your own. It's, yeah. it's one on one. Up to you. That's right. And the first season, I won no times. Really? One time. Yeah, my first season of wrestling, I sucked. Oh, man. Because I was at 98 pounds. It was tiny. <laughs> so small. But yeah. I, they, they've changed their weight classes since then. But, I, yeah, I, I went in at 98 pounds. And literally the first season, I beat one kid who sucked worse than me. And then I would win by forfeit because the other team wouldn't have anybody that small. So they go, well, you, oh. you can wrestle up, which I think was like 120. They're like, you can wrestle up. Or you can get win by forfeit. Wait, the, I'm like forfeit. Ninety eight <laughs> to one twenty. Those were the weight classes. My, maybe Those are maybe pretty, and there they'd be like one one oh five. Maybe yeah, yeah, it was like maybe ninety eight one oh five one thirty five. 
Because when I got better, I was at 135. Then 155. I don't even know what they are Did now. Did you have to cut weight to to be the 98 Not class? Not once. Oh. <laughs> Every, listen, I was the I never once had to cut weight. Because I wasn't. stand on there with a jug of water and still oh, make weight. Oh, yeah. These dudes that would just, you know, they'd be jogging in full-on garbage bags and trying to, oh, yeah. trying to cut weight and sweat it out. And then you'd make weight. And then these guys would be, you know, loading up carbon or whatever. I never once had to worry about cutting weight. Wow. I wanted to be heavier. I'm like, I, I'm not going to do this for at 98 pounds for the next three years, you know? Should have been a jockey. So, yeah, because I was short, could too. Could have been, mm-hmm. yeah. We had a... Um, if only my school had an equestrian program, I could have really <laughs> knocked them dead. <laughs> but you didn't do, like, uh, shot put or discus or anything like that, right, Pound Cake? You I just did track. Oh, okay. Yeah, phone? I just tracked. Right. I, I played lacrosse, and I had a great coach. Like, I really enjoyed the coach, the head coach of the lacrosse team, but I also wasn't a great athlete. Like, I had decent hand-eye coordination, but I was not fast, and I was an extremely late bloomer. So all the rest of the kids on the team look like men, and I was, like, freshman year, I was still five foot tall. Like, I didn't hit my growth spurt till my junior year of high school. So I was mm. teeny oh, yeah. tiny. and like Our team just, photo, like, just, I'm in the front, I look like a fifth grader. Just couldn't even compete on a physical level because I was just too small. Right. Just not in, in, I would just get destroyed in a physical game like lacrosse. And my legs were so short. I couldn't run as fast as everyone. Like it was, it was embarrassing. Yeah. I tried playing team sports. But he was cool. A, he was funny. Team sports as a young kid. I wanted no part of after that because I'm like, I suck. That's why I was glad my son was so good at sports because I'm like, thank God. Cause I didn't want him going through what I went through. <laughs> thank God. He's good at team sports. The best part is like when I'm sure every school has this, there's the one wrestler guy at every school. And there was one at mine where he was like a state champion. Oh yeah. But he's the lowest weight class. So he's walking around like all macho, like, and what, what's up? And I'm like, you are four foot three and one pound. Oh, that was the other kid in my weight class. There were two of us. It was me (laughs) and Nick Shortino. And this kid, his last name was Shortino. Shortino. Yes. Good Lord. But this kid was a scrapper. He was, his dad was in the mob or something. This kid, you'd get out there and he was just like a hummingbird. And my coach would always tell me, he'd be like, Cox, you're tiny and that's going to make you fast. And that's good. You just got to, I was like, all right, dude, I just got tired of looking at the ceiling. (laughs) <laughs> that first season so i'm like all right i gotta get better and i did but man that first season sucked when you hear the smack of the ref's hand on that i to this day the echo of that noise of the you yeah. know i was like oh next to my head a little ptsd oh a little ptsd boy and then you got to stand up in that singlet oh <laughs> oh my god yeah.